Hello guys and girls, it's Hellstein here. Um, I started working on uh, my custom idea. Um, and I was going to do like, uh, what people normally do when they put these kits together is they like cut the pegs off and then they like, you know, sit parts on down, you know, onto the uh, leg. Um, I kind of had to kind of not do that with this kit. Um, the only way I say I'm going to have to stop doing it because Take for instance, like this part right here. You see how the, this is a part of the, um, the pretty much this mechanism of the leg, and it's, they're made in a certain way. To where I mean, you could probably still glue it, and then you know, um, sand it. But you see, this right here is like a groove in between, right there in the leg. So it'd be kind of pointless to uh, glue it unless you're gonna, uh, you know, unless you don't want that. So. Um, I guess uh, one of my ideas of what they could start doing with kits is to make it look like the legs, like the parts you're putting together, to where you don't have to paint them, you know, could, unless you want to lose that detail. I'm going to put this together. You can see this part here is two legs put together, and they got like such a, uh, like a line right there, pretty much inscribed into it, that they did. And so with that right there, you really don't have to glue it. Uh, this is what I've noticed so far, and from what I've done so far. Um, I'm kind of also use this video to kind of put in, kind of tell you what my ideas were for this kit on my color. Get all this out the way. Um, like I was gonna try to do like most people who do this is um, glue pieces together and fold them and then um, you know sand them to get rid of the seam lines. Well, I did it with this kit, but now I've started noticing that this pie ain't no point in doing it that way. <clears throat> so I'm probably not gonna do that. I'm not going to glue parts or anything like that. I'm just going to paint the pieces, then put the pieces together, and put them on the kit. Um, which I've already gotten this part right here, which is this, um, pretty much this part right here. Let me pull that up. This part right here, the white, which is going to stay white, but I mean, if you can paint the kit, then you need to paint it all. Don't just paint some of it because it's going to look retarded. Um, like a better term if I um, you know paint the kit and they don't paint this it's like mmm paint mmm plastic mmm paint well, that makes no sense why don't, why don't you just paint the whole thing um, I'm not against just putting it together because normally what I do with my kits is put them together and then put them in my case I already got this marked out uh, taped up because I'm gonna pretty much paint this white then when it's drying I'm gonna come this tape's gonna go off of course and I'm gonna tape around the white if it's good and dry. I did it with the um, Zaki one that I custom painted. It was my first custom paint. It didn't turn out bad. Uh, if you had like a, a airbrush it would turn out better because you can tell that it was paint um, by a paintbrush because it's still kind of thick. <clears throat> but anyway the part that I hear is, is I hadn't painted anything yet. It's a little co too cold outside. So anyway uh, this part is taped. I'm gonna, like I said when this is on I get this white painted white then I'm gonna um, put tape around the white, and I'm gonna paint the inside black. Cause when you have this piece right here on the shoulder, say for instance, you you decide to use the weapon that you know goes in these parts, these holes. Well, when they're not there, you're gonna see a big old bunch of you're gonna be able to see a big old spot of white behind it. So I'm gonna paint that black. Same thing with this. This is gonna be white. Then I'm gonna try. To paint that black to work, you know, two different colors, kind of what they could have done when they, you know, you know, decided to make this kit for you to paint. I mean, for you to put together. So they kind of could have, you know, made that to a different part. <clears throat> but if people, there's some people who think, well, you just put one piece of tape on it, and then you know, you're, that's it. Me, if you look at it, it's a bunch of different pieces of tape put together to where I make sure I don't have anything bleed. Um, that's basically how I do it. But anyway, this is pretty much just a, uh, an update. Uh, I still have that uh, camphor that I uh, did unboxing for. I'm still I haven't done anything with it. I really want to get on the Zaku one that I, Zaku two two that I have. I really want to start getting it together because I bought the master grade and the perfect grade. The perfect grade. Uh, let me go get. It. I can actually bring it here right now. I ain't got very much. I was gonna go over there and get it and then you know talk, but. It'd be kind of echoing, so. <clears throat> but 
this is my perfect grade. This is about as far as I've gotten on it. Um, like I said, it, this, I think I've said in the last video, this kit's a lot of work. And with kits that have a lot of work, the problem with them are, for me anyway, is after a while, you're putting the kit together. You start kind of getting bored of putting the kit together because it takes forever. And then you start getting bored of it. But, um, it's the minor eye. Like, it comes with a sticker, but I watched the video and this guy said that he used Sharpie. And that's what I did was, uh, Sharpied it, clear coat, Sharpied, clear coat, Sharpie, clear coat. And that's pretty much how I got it, this pink. Let me back with that. Where is the, I'm trying to remember where the switch is. Where is the switch? Where is the switch? There it is. Oh, what? No, it's wrong. Wrong switch. Sorry. Oh, we yeah, are now. Pretty much got to open up this cockpit, and there's your. Oh, sorry, let me bring that down. You pretty much have to pull out the cockpit, and there's your switch. And you flip the switch, and there's mono eye. It's on. I haven't really tried moving the mono eye. Let's see. It's it's moving. much you can get out of it though then we just flip the switch now me personally with this switch I had to pretty much get the uh, some just regular old, um pretty much when you try to put two pieces together you put tape well I put, had to put some tape down to keep the little um metal piece from pretty much uh, popping out because it would always pop out so I had to pretty much had to tape it down and now it don't pop out but uh, this is pretty much it of a guy of the arm. Um, this is another one of those kits that after you put it together, you can actually probably paint this thing. Because it's good part separation when you take it. And you can just pull this off, paint it, pull that off, paint it, and then put them all together. I thought about doing that after I've already started putting it together. But I'm kind of at the point now that since I already started putting it together, I'm not going to paint it. Because this part here is pretty much stuck into the arm. This part that's in the arm. So this, I would have to mask that off to paint that. And it won't be a big deal. But. I figure I'd just leave it, you know, the way it is. Because I plan on getting some other kids. Set that off to the side. I do plan on getting. Um, the Gelgoog. I'm trying to think of the ones I plan on getting. Gelgoog, uh, High Mobility, Zaku, Master Grade, Zaku 1, High Mobility, Zaku 2. I'm going to get the Zaku 1 too. Uh, I think I said Gelgoog already. I don't know. The uh, Zikok, the Breakdown. These are all going to be Master Grades. And they're going to be my paint scheme. The only I'm going to get to the point that everybody's here for is my paint scheme idea. Um got it written down here um, the purple of the leg is going to be red the brown in the leg is going to be black the white of the legs I think I'm going to leave them white yeah they're going to be white the gray of the red uh, leg was going to be I, was gonna, I think I was going to the gray I was going to do them black this is going to be black I'm probably going to do the legs red because also, this little T, not T, this little knee thing right here, this little knee mechanism, I don't want, like if I do that black, then I would do that black, I want to do that black. So I figure I'll do the leg red. So, pretty much, I mean, when I look at the kids, you see how much color separation it has. I try to get the same amount of color, color separation. Um, let's see. The brown of the waist is going to be black. The brown of the feet are going to be red. Um, I'm sorry, the bottom of the feet. I just uh, purple, I think it is. The yeah, purple is going to be red. The brown is going to be black. The yellow of the feet is going to be white. The inside red. Um, see the waist. Oh yeah, same thing for the, pretty much what I'm going to do with, you know, these little, uh, 
what do they call them? Um, I don't know. Thrusters. I know that's what they actually call them. I'm trying to think of what, um, I don't know, I can't think of, like, when, uh, you know, how they used to do shoes in the old days, they used to buckle them up and instead of tying them, that, I just can't remember what the word is. <sighs> but anyway, uh, top of the body that is brown is going to be black, the purple is going to be red, and the gray is going to stay gray, which I'm going to paint it gray. Uh, the power cables are going to be gray, but, like I said, I'm going to keep... So this one over. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna use this one's power cables because they're already gray and I like the uh, texture of that gray for it. Um, blue and then we got you come into this one. Uh, the blue on this red is going to be um red. The black is gonna stay black. The forearm, we're not using its forearms. I'm gonna throw it on the floor. Pretty much the forearm, which is all this, but it's already purple, it's gonna be red. The then its arm is gonna be black. Which I might actually do that red too, and then do that little thing right there red black. Maybe what I'll do. Uh, sorry. Um, shoulder. Pretty much now we're getting to this. This is going to be that white's going to be white, and the uh, purple is going to be red. Backpack's going to be black. I'm going to use the backpack that's on the custom uh, thruster gray inside red. Uh, Pull up. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and pull up the other magazine. The other one. The thruster. That pretty much that part's going to be gray. And then the end part's going to be red. Um, now with the knives. I haven't decided yet. I'm probably going to do them probably black. Since, you know, the arms are going to be red. Why, dude? I don't, I just, I don't, I don't know why I'm just really big on color separation. So I don't see if I'm going to do the forearms going to be you know, red, then do the, the little handles, uh, black, and of course chrome or silver for the, the knives themselves. But yeah, that's pretty much my ideas for the kit. Um, and of course, that little bit of gray right there, which is a sticker on the kit. Um, let's see what it looks like on the blue one. The blue one is just blue. Which the blue one looks like it's not a sticker. But it probably is. I have to look at the sticker sheet and it's probably a blue it's probably a sticker. Could have been a part, but they just made it a sticker. And what I'm talking about is that part right there. Um a kit that I was planning on getting at one time or another was gonna be the new ground type that came out. But now I might not get well, I still probably still get it, but it's not a big of a want as it was when I first uh, saw it. And the only reason why it's not a big of a want, I'll use this one as an example. You see this little red right here? I'm sorry. This red of this th thruster, or on it, instead of it being a different color, it's a sticker for it to be a different color. So that'd be one of the things before you put it on there, you'd probably, before you put that part on to the GM, new GM or whatever, you'd probably have to paint it and then put it on. But then at that point, and how how it looks, you'd probably be better off painting the whole kit. The, the you know the color they had, the color it comes in. Hey guys, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I had kind of had to uh, cut the video. I was gonna put more to this video, but then when I was in editing, I realized it was super super long. So the thing that I was gonna do, and plus the thing I was not not thinking about the thing I was gonna do. Also, my um, I was gonna show you my kits that I have already put together in my case. But that's a bad thing about that, and the thing is, is I really don't want to show my face. And when I was looking at the video of me showing what I had in my case, uh, you can see my face a lot, and I really wasn't comfortable with that. Um, it's not that I'm worried that someone's gonna 
come to my work and you know talk to me, bug me, or anything like that. I mean, right now I'm only got three subscribers, and those are people I actually know. So I mean, they're not gonna come bug me at work. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't think they even watch my videos. They're just subscribed to me. If you don't watch my videos and be a subscriber, it's kind of no point in it. But I mean, that's that's not really anything. Uh, you know, to support me, and they subscribe to me. And you know, I appreciate that. But anyway, I'm starting to get on a ramble. Uh, this is a different part. Just a couple uh, hours later. This is actually everything was done before nine or eight. Well, no, I was done by around five or six this, uh, this afternoon. Actually, you know, my nephews came. I was in there uh, between them and the dog. I'm busy. Um, this is about as much as the leg I've gotten together. And like I said, though, see, right there, the seam line. That right there is a the seam line, but the way they kind of tooled it, it's kind of a seam line you really can't get rid of. I mean, you can, but it looks stupid because of, you know, that part right there. But anyway, I can't keep going on because, like, this video is even getting longer as I'm speaking compared to what it is right now. I can tell you how much it is right now before, uh, right now it's at 13 minutes when I was doing my showing you my kitchen whatever is like in the 20 or 30 minute range and I'm not trying to make a video that long but anyway um like I said I know you know talk people talking you know they probably show you their face and things like that but uh, like I said I'm just not comfortable showing my face so um you know you're just gonna have to do a look at my desk and me talking to you but um yeah like I said I appreciate it uh, you watch my videos, like, subscribe, sub if you want to. You don't have to. It'd be cool if uh, you know if I start getting off my lazy butt when I come in from work and actually start doing something. But when I get I at where I work, I get up at like two o'clock in the morning, then be there by four a.m. in the morning, and then work until one, then go home. And on the weekends, it's six to three. Uh, by giving you my work time you kind of sc you kind of assume where I work without me telling you because I'm not going to tell anybody where I work but anyway um, I appreciate you watching the video and I'll talk to y'all later um, so my next I'll go give you kind of an update uh, my next video uh, after this one is going to be the kits that I have done and then the kit video after that will be the kits that I have to work and Depending on if anyone votes, my next video will be unboxing. On my next unboxing video will be what someone votes for. But anyway, uh, that's it. Thanks, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.